Hello, I'm Emma Eisenberg. Um, I'm a writer. I'm the director of Blue Stoop here in Philadelphia. Uh, I'm going to be reading from chapter 11, Sirens. Blaze's Borland smart tan shoes creaked on the bar floor where he strode. Yes, gold from a nearby bronze from afar. Lenahan heard and knew and hailed him. See the conquering hero comes. Between the car and window, warily walking, went Bloom. Un he cat walked towards Richie Golding's legal bag, lifted aloft, saluting. And I from thee. I heard you were round, said Blaze Boylan. He touched to fair Miss Kennedy a rim of his slanted straw. She smiled on him. But Sister Bronze outsmiled her, preening for him her richer hair, a bosom, and a rose. Smart Boylan bespoke potions. What's your cry? Glass of bitter? Glass of bitter, please, and a slogan for me. Wire in yet? Not yet. At four, she... Who said four? Callie's red lugs and bulging apple in the door of the sheriff's office. A void. Goulding a chance. What is he doing in the Ormond? Car waiting. Wait. Hello. Where off to? Something to eat? I too was just in here. What, Ormond? Best value in Dublin. Is that so? Dining room. Sit tight there. See not to be seen. I think I'll join you. Come on. Richie let on. Bloom followed bag. Dinner fit for a prince. Miss Deuce reached high to take a flagon, stretching her sodden arm, her bust, that all but burst so high. Oh, oh, jerked Lenehan, grasping at each stretch. Oh. But easily she seized her prey and let it low in triumph. Why don't you grow? asked Blazes Boylan. She bronzed, stealing from her oblique dar, thick syrupy liquor from his lips, looked as it flowed. Flower in his coat, who gave him, and syruped with her voice. Fine goods and small parcels. That is to say, she. Neatly she poured, slow, syrupy, slow. Here's fortune, Blazes said. He pitched a broad coin down. Coin rang. Hold on, said Lenehan, till I. Fortune, he wished, lifting his bubbled ale. Scepter will win in a canter, he said. I plunged a bit, said Boylan, winking and drinking. Not on my own, you know. Fancy of a friend of mine. Lenehan still drank and grinned at his tilted ale and at Miss Deuce's lips that all but hummed, not shut, the ocean song her lips had trilled, I Dolores, the eastern seas. Clockward, Miss Kennedy passed their way, flower, wonder who gave, bearing away tea tray, clock clocked. Miss Deuce took Boylan's coin, struck boldly the cash register, it clanged, clock clacked, fair one of Egypt teased and sorted in the till, and hummed and handed coins in change. Look to the west, a clack, for me. What time is it? asked Blaze Boylan, four. A clock. Lenahan's small eyes a hunger on her humming, bust a humming, tugged Blaze Boylan's elbow sleeve. Let's hear the time, he said. The bag of golden collis, ward led bloom by rye bloom flowered tables. Aimless he chose with agitated aim, bald pat attending, a table near the door. Be near at four. Has he forgotten? Perhaps a trick. Not come, wet appetite. I couldn't do. Wait, wait, pat, waiter waited. Sparkling bronze azure, eyed blazers, sky below blue, and eyes. Go on, pressed Lenehan. There's no one. He never heard. To Flora's lips did he. Hi, a note peeled in the trouble clear. Bronze deuce communing with her rose that sank and rose sought Blaze Boylan's flower and eyes. Please, please. He pleaded over returning phrases of a vowel. I could not leave thee. After wits, Miss Deuce promised coyly. No now, urged Lenehan. Sonne la cloche. Oh, do. There's no one. She looked. Quick, Miss Ken out of earshot. Sudden bent. Two kindling faces watched her bend. Quavering the cord strayed from the air. Found it again. Lost cord. And lost and found it, faltering. Go on. Do. Sonne. Bending, she nipped a peak of skirt above her knee. Delayed. Taunted them still. Bending, suspending with willful eyes. Sonne. Smack. She set free, sudden, in rebound, her nipped elastic garter, smack warm against her smackable, a woman's warm-hosed thigh. La cloche, cried gleeful Lenehan, trained by owner, no sawdust there. She smiled, smirked, supercilious, wept, aren't men? But lightward gliding, mild she smiled on Boylan. You're the essence of vulgarity, she in gliding said. Boylan eyed, eyed, tossed fat lips his chalice. Drank off his chalice tiny, sucking the last fat violet syrup drops. His spellbound eyes went after, after her gliding head, 
as it went down the bar by mirrors, gilded arch for ginger ale, hawk and claret glasses shimmering a spiky shell where it concerted, mirrored bronze with sunnier bronze. Yes, bronze from a nearby. Sweetheart, goodbye. I'm off, said Boylan with impatience. He slid his chalice brisk away, grasped his change. Wait a shake, begged Lenahan, drinking quickly. I wanted to tell you. Tom Rochford. Come on to Blazes, said Blaze Boylan, going. Lenahan gulped to go. Got the horn or what, he said. Wait, I'm coming. Happy Bloomsday from the Rosenbach.